Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 2 of Apple TV Plus series, Physical. And this comedy drama focuses on Sheila, a woman struggling in her life quietly as she feels tortured housewife, finds unconventional path to trying to get on track, she deals with bulimia, and she really wants to launch a workout um, video series, and I feel like this season really finds Sheila coming into her own with embracing what this venture really means to her. And there's a really nice moment at one point during this season where she sees a lot of fan mail, and that feels like one of those kinds of moments that really is reassuring to her and reinforcing why she continues to do this. In terms of, like, the professional aspects of this season with this, she, especially towards the second half of the season, she's really trying to get off the ground. She has her friend Greta... Uh, coming in and really helping her a lot more business-wise, but you get more roadblocks in the way. There's a lot of men that are becoming roadblocks in her way. Her husband, because, you know, Danny just goes to some interesting places in this season, and there's a lot of tension that's mounting in their relationship, but from a professional's perspective... Uh, Sheila feels like she keeps finding these roadblocks, and then you have Bunny and her her partner in crime, Tyler, who, you know, they feel like they do or deserve something. They kind of, like, disappear a bit halfway through the season. I don't feel like them, like, going back to them feels as interesting anymore, because they don't feel as connected to the story. But all the way up until the very end of the season... There's this rocky road for Sheila trying to get her business off up the ground, and there's a lot of new interesting tensions and roadblocks along the way, but Sheila winds up going outside of her marriage for affection, and she has John Breen, played by Paul Sparks, who... Sparks always seems to be playing these really dry, deadpan, intense characters, and he really does that well in this as well, and he's quirky, and he has his own <clears throat> awkwardness within his own marriage and his very religious wife. And, you know, they come together and are having this affair. And he even becomes jealous of Sheila's other things that, like her work and her bulimia and her trying to, you know, go into her own thing. What's very interesting here with Sheila in this season, and Rose Byrne plays this character so amazingly. There's so many layers, there's an intensity, there's insecurities. She finally gets help for her eating disorder, and that's one of the, that's probably the best episode of this season, and maybe the best episode of the show, is her going to get help with this group of women isolated. And that episode brings up a lot of drama and brings out a lot of layers in Sheila's character and does a great job of really expanding things. Like I mentioned with Danny, uh, Rory Scovel is just, just want to punch him. It's like just that kind of presence that he brings to this character. And in this season, he's much more trying to like be a better husband but it more feels like he's trying to be a better husband to be like, hey, I could be a good husband. And he winds up making this connection with this woman because now he's doing more of the school stuff. And he feels like, he's like, hey, I'm not taking advantage of this, but I could if I wanted to. And there's just so many layers to just what makes Danny such a scummy character. But... On some level, there's places where you feel like, should I be feeling bad for him? Because, like, Sheila's also not doing the grades of things. But he's treated her like crap for so long. And it's one of those weird kind of interactions in the season. And then by the end, Danny feels like he's owed something. And that just makes him even more <laughs> unlikable. And you just kind of want to hate him in the show. An interesting character that gets some new places to go in this season is Greta, and her feeling 
like she gets to branch out with Sheila and be a business partner in some way. But you could also feel there's a growing sense of another connection with Sheila that Greta has. And there's a lot of like undercurrents of that in this season, which makes for some interesting interactions. But in general, I feel like this season expands upon the first. It adds some interesting characters that are bigger spotlight, like um, Breen and Sheila's affair and Sheila getting help. And I feel like this season ends with a very interesting roadblock that's put in front of Sheila. And I'm interested to see what happens with her marriage, interested to see how she overcomes competition moving forward with her business. And will things between her and Danny, her and Greta, her and John Bream, will they develop and get better or are things going to continue to be rocky? And it leaves a lot of interesting things for the third season. I am kind of at the point where I hope they kind of just leave Bunny and Tyler off because I feel like they just feel tacked on now. And maybe just focusing more on specifically those characters and whatever new places this show takes. But in general, I think this is a really good show that Apple TV Plus has. And this was a winner of a second season. But those are my thoughts on physical. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.